Welcome to JW Rifle Works. Welcome to the channel. In my previous video, um, I said about how this Jeep uh, has got some engine problems. This video is going to be me uh, taking this engine out, stripping it to bits, and seeing why it's locked up. So, this is the actual problem we've got. Um, I can't actually turn the engine over. It'll go out there and go solid. So we've got a problem. The engine's not turning over. Let's go inside and see why. Yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, put the notifications on so you don't miss any more of these episodes and uh, let's get this engine out. Just a bit of background with this Jeep. It's a Ford GPW. Basically it means it's a Ford chassis with a Willys tub and it's 1943 and uh, a cool feature about this Jeep is it was actually in Australia. Um, this is one of the things the Australians did. So we've got truck quarter ton 1943 and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool piece of history. Um, I've decided not to paint the tub of this and leave it in its patinaed original state. Um, underneath it's all, all been done and all new. But the actual tub itself uh, has got some nice bits of uh, patina. There's even a bit of a bullet hole down here. So things like that, I'm just I've left because I want to keep the history of this Jeep and keep uh, the memory of it going. Get into this uh, engine. This is the only bit I haven't actually took down and uh, looked inside, and it's been fine last season um, in the victory show and things like that. Uh, but this time, the engine decided to die. So we're going to get this engine out. It's a shame that I didn't fully uh, video the build of this, but I didn't really have the channel going. There's a little video on my channel of it being built. Um, I will do another video uh, going into more detail of how I've um, restored this or repaired this Jeep. It's not really restoration, it's more of a, a repair, a running repair, I like to call it. Um, so it's going to be more about taking the engine out, but then I'll do another video um, of how it come to this, this state later on. First thing I'm going to do is take off all these, um, these extra bits. So air filter is going to, the pipe is going to come off. Get, drain the coolant and get all the coolant pipes off out of the way. Uh, these brackets and uh, all the electrical side of stuff, get all that out of the way. Uh, take the bits off the carb. I'm try and get it out in one if I can. So sort of minimize work. Plugs are already out. That was the original plug. And we put some nice fresh ones in. Well, that's not a good sign. Hi, Squidward. Wanna play? <laughs> there is any left. We've got our World War II snap up tool kit in here. Keeping it retro and all that. So we'll get this uh, nice original airbox off. What's cool is it's still got a bit of paint on it and it is the original one. I mean, it doesn't really do much now because it's pretty rusty. Um, so I might get a new bottom for it, but it's pretty cool. It's still off the same Jeep. We've got the starter motor off and out of the way. Uh, we've got all the brackets off, out of the way. Got the original dizzy cap.
acá. what we're doing here okay so a lot of the stuff's off around i'm just taking off the um temperature gauge or temperature sensor so I'm taking off the temperature sensor which hopefully leaks water because if it doesn't there's not a lot in there oh that's so grim it should be orange it's definitely not no. If I undo that, that should come out. That's it, there we go. You drain as much as you can. That is a nasty colour, that. That isn't filling me with much confidence, to be honest. Neither is that. <sighs> Tell you what, the coolant system is oh, it's so bad. Look at that. Uh, get this bottom hose clamp off, and then the radiator should come out because, to be honest, there's not much holding that on now. There it goes. Okay, so to make it easier, I'm going to take the grill off to get the radiator out and then when I take the engine out, I can just come straight out this way and it will be easier and I won't damage this nice original grill. <sighs> Hello. So we've got one bolt there, we've got some nice F bolts in here on the side, same this side. So let's get that grill off. Nice little F mark on them. I don't mind using the gun because these have been off before. So I know that they'll come undone because I have fitted these back on before. And one up in the corner. That's it. And the other side, same again. We've got those three. One in the middle.
Пойди. So we can get to the engine mounts and get that motor out. So just undone the exhaust bolts. And the exhaust is off. We're nearly ready to take the bell housing bolts off at the back and then take the engine out. I've just used a puller, but I've got to film it. There and there, and just pulled it straight off. Now we've got all that off, we can take this timing cover off and see if the problem lies in there. All right, we've got all the bolts out. So it's time to uh, take this cover off and see what's going on. This is the first time this has ever been off since I've had it. Oh, come on. The gasket there. That's going to need replacing. <laughs> Okay, so it's gears, so it's gears on this one. Not a timing chain. You can see the gear there. So it's got you, you've freed it there. No. Oh, you haven't freed it. Okay, all the manifold bolts are off. Let's see if we can get this manifold off. She goes now we can get to side plate and I think this valve and this valve here are both seized so let's find out okay so in here are the valves and this valve here is the problem what's happening is when the cam is turning inside here, it's pushing it up onto this valve 
but the valve is stuck at the top, which is why the engine is locking up halfway around. I'm just going to turn the engine over now so you can see, and you'll see this drop because this isn't moving. Keep an eye on that one. Is each valve should move up and down when the engine's turning over. Um, and there's, I think, one, two, three that aren't moving up or down. Up. It's pushing on the valve, which is then causing the engine to stop rotating. And yeah, basically seize up. Take them out and get them all cleaned. And then we should be good to go back together. Well, thank you for watching this uh, first episode of the Jeep. Um, I'm going to start ordering some parts and getting some engine parts in so I can rebuild this engine, get it all fresh and get it back up and running, hopefully for the summer, so we can get this thing to some shows. So keep an eye out for my next video, we'll be rebuilding the engine, getting it all back running again. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Tell your friends, um, yeah, and look out for the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.